Welcome biologists, we are looking at 3.1.2 transporting animals from the OCR specification for A-level biology, looking at specification point F. This is part two of the video. In part one of the video, we had a look at what the cardiac cycle is, what it involves, uh, and the process of systole and diastole. Uh, however, in this video, and we're going to look at this, this graph, which is very heavily questioned on the examiner. It is very, very popular. So there are three stages to the graph. We have this part here, which is uh, atrial systole. We then have ventricular systole. And then we then have diastole here. So there are three parts to this graph. So the first thing that we need to do when we're talking about these different stages is we need to be talking here about where the pressure is high, where the pressure is low, where the blood is moving to and from and what valve is going to be open if it's appropriate to be talking about this now to help me with this sometimes i just draw a little thing at the side here just to help me understand what is going on so obviously i have my atria at the top my ventricles here obviously this is my left side Oop. This is my left side and this is my right side of the heart. So I have blood vessels coming into here and then I have a blood vessel coming out here. It's sometimes if it doesn't help you, it doesn't help you, but sometimes it does help just to note those down. So if you have a look at this point here, just before we get to A, so A is this part here on the graph. So before A, we have this dotted line here. So the left atrium here is a higher pressure than the left ventricle. So this is where I draw on my little things. So here is a higher pressure than in here. So therefore, the blood must be flowing from my atria into my ventricles through the atrial ventricular valve, which is open. It's as easy as that. I would then start over and start again with that. Let's have a look at this point here then between A and B, at this point here, A and between A and B. So here we can see that the line for the left ventricle here is higher than the line for my left atrium. So therefore, if I've got a higher pressure in here compared to here, this means that now my atrial ventricular valve, which lies between these two chambers, is now closed. So it closes at point A. At point B here, if I look just before point B here, we're looking at um, some different points now. So point A, we're looking at here the aorta. So if we look at before point B, so point B is here, um, here the aorta the aorta pressure so this is the aorta it has a higher pressure here in comparison to my in comparison to my ventricle at this point here so at this point this line here is higher than this line here so therefore at this point this means that my semilunar valve is closed we don't want the backflow of blood into my ventricle all right, and basically you just go through the graph like this, having a look at the different lines, which one is higher than the other, and you just basically go through like that. So I'm just going to do a couple more with you. At this point here between B and between B and C, you can see here that my left ventricle, which is the solid black line, is higher now. So this is higher than in my aorta. So if this is a higher pressure than in my aorta. So that is now a low pressure. I'm now going to have blood flowing through my semilunar valve, which has now opened into my aorta to be carried away to the rest of the body. At point C here, at point C, you can see that my aorta line now has a higher pressure than my ventricle pressure, which is now dropping. So therefore, if those two have changed over again, if that now has a higher pressure, excuse the scribbles and that has a lower pressure pressure my semilunar valve which lies at the base of my aorta is now closed because i don't want any black flow of blood into my ventricle um so we carry on and look at this side at the other end so we, we look at the diastole area just around here that part here is diastole so if we look at diastole here we can see now that my left atrium pressure which is the top line is higher so if I look at my left atrium here, it's a higher pressure than in my um, left ventricle. Therefore, my blood is going to flow through from my atria into my ventricle through the atrial ventricular valve, which is now open. At each point, you need to talk about where the pressure is high, where the pressure is low, what valves are open and closed, and also where the blood is moving to. Guys, good luck with your exam. All the best. I hope that has helped.